Welcome back to another Small Business Diaries vlog. Doing all things small business, weekend related, crafting, filling orders, all the fun stuff. It's a Friday, so I am done with my nine to five work and now I can focus on my true love, which is crafting. <laughs> I am about to post a number of products on my website. I'm thinking about dropping it tomorrow though. Mm, should I do it today? Maybe I'll do it today. But basically I real quick came up with like a mini Valentine's Day collection. I talked about it in my last vlog and I don't even think I'll be able to get most of these ordered if I get orders. <laughs> if I will be able to get orders out before Valentine's Day given that it's a Valentine's Day mini collection. But I really do think that these products would be cute for like any period of time. They just happen to be like love red pink themed. I talked about everything already but one of my favorite things I do want to show you is this little bear. 100% soy wax, non-toxic, fragrance free little bear. And I'm gonna leave it without coloring in the eyes and nose. I'm just gonna leave it like this to make it like fully non-toxic and dye free and all of that. I'm excited to post this guy. But then other than that I have like a pouch, scrunchies, candles. Actually no, I'm not posting candles in this collection. Also, I have some orders to fulfill. I just, I need to get back into my groove. I feel like Friday through Sunday is when I really thrive, which is sad because I'm like living for the weekend, but it is what it is. Now, I actually think I'm going to go to the thrift store because I need to get a few crafty artsy things for um, a crafting night I'm doing tonight with my friend. We are just going to do a little Galentine's Day activity. We're going to paint wine glasses and candles and I am going to bring like a few of these and this is the other bear. Um, and we can paint these and like paint little hearts on them. How cute. But I need to grab paint brushes. I'm going to see if they have any at the thrift store first. If not, I also want to grab like another wine glass at the thrift store so I can paint it. If they don't have paint brushes, I'm going to go to Ace Hardware or CVS and see if they have any. It's gonna be a good one. I'm excited for it. Let's uh, let's just get into it. The sun is not good here. I love how bright and sunny my crafting room is, but it does make filming a little difficult sometimes. All right, we're gonna do an unboxing here, which is kind of strange because I'm used to doing it on the table. But I did get something from Candle Science. I ordered literally every single one of their new fragrances. They had this banner on their homepage that said like spring and summer new fragrances. And you can literally from the banner just add every single one of them to your cart, the mini versions, like the trial sizes. And I was like, how, how smart of them to make it so easy <laughs> to just buy the trials. Obviously I have to get them. I also love that they pack their boxes with this decompost. Com Biodegradable, that's the word, oh my gosh. Biodegradable packing peanuts but i do need a place to store them because i like to keep all of this to pack up my own packages <laughs> i might not show all of them because there is a good amount but i will show you a few because i'm so excited this is what the candle science trials look like if you are unsure but they are one of my favorite suppliers because of how affordable they are and how reliable their shipping is and i love their products this one is spiced oat milk mm. an instant win oh my gosh Oh, okay, Orange Creamsicle. This is the one I have such high hopes for to the point where I actually already made a candle label for this. And I already included it mentally in my nostalgia collection that I'm releasing soon. I hope it's good. Mmm. This is everything I dreamed and more. Imagine an Orange Creamsicle from the Ice Cream Man. This is it. Okay, well, I'm using it, obviously. Forest chai, I was interested in this. Like it's like forest and chai, like like a woodsy chai. Oh, that's exactly what that is. Whoa, that's like kind of strong. I would use this for a men's cologne or a men's soap. Olive leaf and citron, citron, citron. It smells clean. Oh, it's delightful. Coastal cottage. It's like they know what the trends are nowadays. Like, will it smell like a coastal grandma aesthetic? Mmm, it does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that smells like I'm rich and on a summer vacation in my third home by the beach. I think I love it. I'm manifesting that for myself too. Vanilla orchid. I'm interested in this because I need, desperately need, just a regular vanilla scent that isn't just straight up vanilla. Oh, that's good. Actually, 
yeah i don't know i'll give it a second chance not like an instant win okay we'll save the rest for maybe another time because i gotta go there are some really good wait let's do one more pink watermelon lemonade guys i already know and it's not too sugary it's almost like a half sweet and lemonade <laughs> mm, that smells way more refreshing than sugary i love it all right rest for later oh by the way i'm wearing this shirt from a small business i forgot what it's called but i put them in my holiday gift guide of 2023 and i will link it below if you want it but it says like guide to mindful morning guide a guide to mindful mornings and then it has a bunch of pictures of like good habits in the morning i love it As you can see, I spontaneously decided to make a shirt for tonight and I'm really happy about it because it's actually coming out good and I don't have to abandon the project like I did for the last like three sewing projects that I've had. I think two weeks ago I tried to make a dress for the menu tasting that I was going to for my wedding and I ended up scrapping that project because it wasn't coming out the way I wanted it to. This is not going to work also tried to make a different top for like another event but this one is actually coming together i should really just stop rushing my sewing projects and i'd finish them more successfully <laughs> but this one was really simple i've done this style so many times but i haven't done it recently it's like the shared top it looks like this and i only did the top half because i wanted the bottom to be flowy and then the sleeves are going to be really puffy really big like one fourth sleeves half sleeves i don't know i actually have to see what it looks like on me because i didn't fully measure it like a galentine's themed crafting thing tonight with my friend so that's why i was inspired to do this i love that it's coming together can you see it can you imagine it i definitely can it's like a little tight oh that's gonna be cute taking a scenic walk on the way to the pad station to go meet up with two friends for brunch and I'm really excited. I haven't seen them in years at this point. We're going to the Lower East Side, which I never spent time there in Manhattan, so I'm excited. And then after that, I'm gonna come back. We have a ton of small business things to do. check out what i got oh i know this is turning into an unboxing video and it's like the most frustrating thing ever because i just want to craft but everything is coming at the same time let's rewind a little bit i did go out to brunch this morning with my friends and last night i did have a galentine's with my other friend it's like wild but i'm doing this many social things it's like crazy it comes in waves like sometimes i will just straight up be hanging out with people all the time and then i'll go like a few months and never talking to a soul other than Josh. But I'm very excited about these small business packages that I just received because 
I, I just can't wait. Okay, let's do this one. This is from Spoonflower, and we all know that I love Spoonflower. I got some samples of fabrics that I am most likely going to be using because of how much I love them online. The different products show you exactly what print is going to be printed onto the fabric. So I have a really good idea of what these will look like, but here they are. This is the first one. It's so cute and light and just like a really like baby, cutesy, heart and floral detailed pattern. Love it. Think of tote bags. Think of pouches. Yes, I am making pouches again because that's just what I decided. But I won't be making a lot and I won't be using the really thick batting and I will be using my walking foot at all times. <laughs> this one is bows. I couldn't believe it. There's actually another shop called Kiki & Co. I think is what it's called. I'll put it here. And she makes the most beautiful keychains, lanyards, and like other types of like small sewing projects like that and sells them. And I saw her using this fabric. And for the longest time, I was wondering where she got her fabric because they're all so pretty and bright. And I guess it, a lot of it is Spoonflower. If you don't know, Spoonflower, they are a site where they allow artists to upload their different designs. And then Spoonflower prints those designs onto fabric. And then people can buy the fabric. How cute. Again, tote bags and pouches and potentially other things because of how pretty this is. This one is literally probably just for me, unless if any of you guys also are into this kind of thing, it's kind of niche, kind of not. We got like a badminton kind of thing. I'm into tennis. Josh got me into it. And I think this could be a cute little tote. I'm like imagining something really specific. Maybe I'll put some Pinterest pictures here. Maybe not. And I'm thinking of just like having these really cute tote bags that aren't just the basic tote bags that I make but also have pockets in them and just make them a little bit more complex because I've been wanting to do that. This one's also a really cool one. I thought it just like filled the whole collection up um, nicely. It's this, um, these squiggles are a lot bigger than I thought they'd be <laughs> but they're just these really light blue abstract doodle looking lines. Pretty. This is a little bit lighter than I expected it to be, but still pretty cute. Again, on the bow croquet theme, we have this, and I think it's really pretty. It reminds me of chandeliers. Love the bows. I really like the light green, actually. The more I look at it, I think it's nice. These are all going to be so good for a spring collection, guys. Anyway, also have these cherries. Wait, this way. Cute little cherries. I also want to try to make wallets. And like little things i've been trying to grow my list of products especially the products that are a little bit more affordable and easier to make so things that i can sell for like ten dollars or less if possible the cheapest thing on my store are my decals but then actual products that are not like stationary products my scrunchies are ten dollars trying to get that cost down somehow and then i'm also trying to make other little things like cutesy things like that that can be like ten to twenty dollars this one's really pretty i love the blue and green flowers this one's really nice i did get a lot i did um we'll just leave it at that i did have a discount code though so spoon flower if you're watching this you want to work with me because i love you guys this pink one guys oh the artists for these how amazing i will link all of these below that i'm using because i don't want to gatekeep here and if you click on the link it'll also show you like the artist who uploaded this design every time someone buys fabric with the artist design on it the artist gets um like a commission so you're actually supporting independent artists by purchasing purchase by purchasing these <laughs> Last one. It's another bow one. I've been I've been into it, guys. I, I don't know what to say. How cute. Very pretty. Very dainty. Cute little pink and blue bows. That's it from Spoon and Flower. I am eating my lunch. It's um kind of bland, but it's my comfort food. It's I don't even know if I should say because some people find this gross. It's tuna and rice. And it's what I ate growing up, so it's comforting. Last thing to unbox. I swear we're gonna craft after this. A Brambleberry package. This is the new thing, guys, and I'm kind of scared about it. Where is my box cutter? I'm not saying I'm going to do this. I'm not saying that. However, I am trying it out. And the thing I'm trying out, whoa, 
something happened to this packing slip. The thing I'm trying out is the Swirled Heart Soap. Level is beginner, time is one hour, and this is a kit. I'm gonna make soaps. <laughs> Have I ever made soap? No. Um, this is melt and pour soap, meaning that all you gotta do is melt the base and then pour it into the mold. So how hard can it be? I know the art of making soaps is a lot more complicated than that, especially when you don't use melt and pour and you use cold process, I think is what it's called. But I just wanted to try out like a little kit just to see if I like it. And this seemed like a good one, especially since it is Valentine's Day themed. I could just like give these out as little Valentines to people. That's all that was in this box actually. So let's open this kit. It's packed up very nicely, I can already tell. I want to make kits like this, like for my candles. I always say I will, but then I don't. Oh. I bought this with my own money, guys, okay? None of this is sponsored. This is like a decent instruction manual. It's really thick. All right, so it says like what you're going to create, and then it has all the instructions with images on the back. I love that. Oh, cute. A magenta color block to make it colorful. And then there's a good amount of packing confetti. I imagine there's other stuff underneath this. Okay, we also have, I think it's like a mimosa kind of fragrance from what I remember. Pink mimosa fragrance oil. I've used so many Brambleberry trial candle, trial fragrance oils like this that this is super familiar. Smells good. It smells like it'll be good in a soap too. And then under all of this, this is like actually pretty messy. Oh, we also have 99% isopropyl alcohol additive. I guess we will figure out what that's for later. And then the heart molds. I can definitely use this like in general for other types of crafts. So I'm happy I have these. This kit I believe was $40 around that i'll link it below because i think they have it all year round i don't think this is like just for valentine's day i think that's all that's in here oh there's more there's more oh literally obviously we have the brambleberry shea butter shea butter shea butter shea butter why can't i remember how to say this um that's what it is and i guess you just melt this and, and do the thing very cute um well, this is really great for me because now I have all this stuff to pack up my orders that I need to pack up right now. Um, actually, I need to make the orders first and then I can pack them up. <laughs> wow, what a great unboxing. I'm feeling great. <laughs>
good morning guys it's the next day and my candles have set i'm gonna trim off the wicks and talk to you for a bit i love that i decided to go with these iridescent aura vessels that's the word that i like always forget iridescent incandescent oh my gosh <laughs> whatever they are it has this cool little like effect and i love that th that it's glossy versus a matte aura vessel which is like this I think this would be great for the nostalgia collection because it is a little like of a nostalgic effect and then also it's kind of like a little different you know and i want each of my collections to be slightly different in order to distinguish them from each other this one is the um fruit loops scent from vine vita and i did mix a little like of extra stuff in there just to make it a little bit different um and stand apart from other people's but the top ended up setting beautifully and it smells amazing oh god you guys need to you need to try this one i think i'm going to do one of those like gift boxes I have some of these left over from my holiday gift set and it's basically just this lemon box from makesy it fits three of those mini aura vessels in there and so i think i'm going to do like an introduction to the nostalgia collection with these boxes and you can buy the box for like a sample of each of them I am having a hard time deciding what I want the third scent to be in the nostalgia collection. I want there to be three scents to start off with. So there's going to be that cereal scent. Then I have this orange creamsicle one, which smells so good. These are both fruity. Like the cereal one has a little bit of like lemon, lime, berries. And then this one smells like oranges and cream and sugar mm, and vanilla. <clears throat> So I'm wondering if the third one should also be along the lines of like fruit or if I should go in a different direction and do something else. Um, yeah, I don't know. That third one's kind of up in the air, but that's my plan for this first little nostalgia collection like starter pack. I made those. I love it. I love the way the cold throw smells. I'm just labeling these um, other ones that I made for orders. This one's the Santa One Must in High Tide. Surprise, surprise. Everyone loves this one. I get these from Fast Printing. Highly recommend. They're really great to work with. And I think their prices are pretty fair. Still like expensive, obviously, <laughs> compared to just like cutting these out with my Cricut and making them myself. But then at the same time, like I, I save so much time just having these. For example, I'm going to need to cut out the uh, labels for these little ones because I am still just like testing them. So I don't want to go and order a whole bunch of like pre-made orders for those yet. And then this one is the Blackberry uh, scent. Blackberry, honeysuckle, and musk. This one is also very, very delicious. All right, let's get making those other labels that I don't have because it's really all I can do right now with the labels that I have. All right, I just worked on some of the new labels and I'm obsessed with all these colors together. Look how pretty. The one all the way on the right, the musky amber, dusky rose, that one is from like the original core collection, which is why the font is different. I'm trying to figure this out if I should keep two different fonts or just stick to one because the ones like over here the cereal orange cream school and mahogany teakwood those are all like special collections either like fall collection or the nostalgia collection and i decided to go with like a more funky like fun font and i kind of like it better and i get more compliments on those types of graphics so i think i might switch to having all of them be this but i do have a bunch of labels already that i have from fast printing that have this font so i'm gonna keep using that until I decide like to change it up, but I just thought this looks so pretty and that's why I wanted to show it to you guys. This is the Cricut Design Space. Cricut, yeah, Cricut Design Space. I'm about to print this out with my new printer and cut out these labels. Okay, so the orange didn't come out as bright as I would like it to. I think I need to clean out my um, printer. Sometimes that happens with like this new printer. I have to like clean the nozzle or something like that because this is supposed to be a lot brighter. But everything else looks really cute. <laughs> All right, we're back here. I got these all cut out. 
with my Cricut, I definitely want to do a whole video on how to use a Cricut and like the benefits of having one. Cause like, even if you're not a small business owner, I feel like a Cricut is a really fun little machine to have just for like crafting purposes, hobby purposes. Sorry, I'm cutting off the wicks of my candles. That's what this, that's what all the ruckus is. I know people who have um, Cricuts just for fun and just make little like paper goods and crafts out of it and I'm like go good for you because I found it to be really fun <laughs> so handy you can make your own stickers and things so I'm gonna start adding these labels on I do need to finish off the tops maybe I should do that first so I don't mess up these labels because these aren't like laminated or anything it's just really good presentation matte paper um so they're not super waterproof for the minis the the 8 ounce and the 12 ounce are waterproof or water resistant so you don't have to worry about that but the minis I just have this so I'm gonna finish off the tops first all right I feel like we keep going back and forth guys but we keep ending up right here mahogany teak wood and oak beautiful little label one of my favorites guys i think i'm gonna sign up for a pop-up in april i was going back and forth with if i wanted to do any pop-ups before my wedding because i definitely wanted to focus on my dress like making my wedding dress and also making like whatever other sorts of diys i wanted to do um but i think i'm good <laughs> and i think i'll have everything pretty much done by the time this pop-up happens i think it's like mid april or like towards the end of april and i just feel like i won't really have anything really pressing to do in April for my wedding so I think I'm gonna do it and it's here in Hoboken so it's not even like a really big like different one and I've also already done this festival before it's like the bluegrass and folk music festival but like the theme of the festival is like sustainability so they have a lot of like sustainable vendors there and they invited me to apply again they said that they invited me to apply before they actually like sent out emails to anyone else. Like I guess they reached out to the vendors who have been there um, last year or in previous years. So I thought that was nice. Seems like a good opportunity. And it's like kind of chill and could get me back into the pop game after the winter. I think I might do it. This one is the cereal milk and vanilla lavender. It's, it's so pretty. Okay, let's see how these look on these um, new vessels because I'm not actually sure how the matte label will look on the glossy um glossy jar do i love it or do i hate it help do i love it or hate it like i just feel like it looks so pretty on its own but it now gives like a little bit of like a yellow cast now that i look at it so i'm adding this i like them separately do i like them together i think i think it actually when you look at it like in the sun <laughs> like away like that and, like tilt it and you know how like with the iridescent effect like the the more you like move it and tilt it it like changes the colors and like the perspective i think it looks good okay i don't know why i'm going on and on about that i think i like it <laughs> i'll let myself think about it for a little bit more though maybe i'll post like a sneak peek picture on my instagram i'm also guys thinking about starting a patreon where i just like post a whole bunch of behind the scenes things and like give like early access to my youtube videos and then also early access to candles and like other things that come out and then also potentially doing like a gift box once a month sent to my patrons if you never heard of patreon i don't know like the official like description of it but basically you can join um as a patron for a creator or like a person so i would be like the person you would subscribe to and there are different tiers of subscriptions it could be like a dollar a month five dollars a month I don't even know if I'd go to $10 a month. And depending on the tier that you subscribe with, you get different perks, access to content, access to products, freebies, like whatever. Um, so I'm thinking about starting that because I think that could be cool to just like get our little niche group of people who like really <laughs> like want to know the behind the scenes stuff and like the nitty gritty stuff that happens. Because I can only say so much in a YouTube video and it takes a really long time to like edit these like long form videos versus like on patreon i could probably put out like quick things 
very frequently. On Instagram, I feel like that's like a more curated platform, so I don't really like posting too, too much on there because I don't want to bombard everyone's like social media feeds, especially when there's already so much going on in social media. A Patreon could be like a cool way to just like intentionally show people who want to see things the all the cool things <laughs> that are happening that I just like can't really show in other places. I think I might do that. Still thinking on it though. I'm not going to put the orange cream skull ones on these candles because I don't like the way that orange looks. I'm going to clean the nozzle thing on my printer. Thank you for all your advice, by the way, with my printer. I know I was struggling when I first set it up. Thank you to everyone who let me know that I needed to clean it out and like do a bunch of like different configuration things. Um, thank you, because it helped a lot. Still struggling though, slightly. <laughs> I think before I start packing up my orders, I'm going to take a quick break from the small business stuff and do a Skillshare class. I've been really good with keeping up with my learning goals for 2024 and Skillshare is a big part of that. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it is the largest online learning community that has so many classes in so many different topics. <laughs> for artists and creatives, there's so many different courses that have tutorials on how to use the latest and greatest technology, whether it be Procreate, which is actually a learning path that I'm taking right now. There are also courses that teach you the basics of Adobe Illustrator and Premiere Pro, which is exactly how I learned how to use those softwares. Anything from illustration to animation, creative writing, Skillshare even has productivity type courses, how to become a successful Etsy seller. Literally, there's so many different types and I've taken a whole bunch I'm currently in the process of taking courses in a really cool learning path called Procreate Basics Get Started with Digital Illustration because I've been meaning to get so much better with Procreate now that I have a little iPad. So that's really something I've been wanting to do to just enhance my whole business. And also it's just like a fun skill to have. So I thought, why not? Learning paths in Skillshare are curated sequential class collections to master a specific skill or competency. It's really great because within a learning path, you have multiple different instructors. So you get different points of view of the same topic that you are looking into. On top of that, because of the vast scale of how many courses there are in Skillshare. Learning paths just help you really quickly pick a topic and also get a whole bunch out of it. One learning path that I've been recommending to my friends is learn to sew all the skills you need to make your own clothing. And it's basically just this learning path of a whole bunch of really qualified instructors teaching you the basics of sewing. They take you through the very beginning of literally what is a needle, what is a sewing machine, all the way up until you making your very own first project. I'll put some of my favorite other ones down below if you're interested, especially like small business related. They really helped me out because instead of struggling your way through figuring out how to do something or how to learn something, you can just use these learning paths and these Skillshare courses to get ahead of the game and be the best small business owner you can be. If you're interested in checking out Skillshare, you can use my link in the description. The first 500 people to use the link in my description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare, which is amazing. The amount of courses you can take in that time is wild. Although everything is self-paced, you can pick up the courses whenever you want, whenever you have some time. Sometimes I listen to them on my way to work. Sometimes I dedicate actual time sitting down and going through the courses because there are some really practical like tips where I want to like write them down and actually practice them. At the end of every course, there's also some sort of project where you can upload it to the course and like see other people's progress. For example, after I'm done with this Procreate course, I'm going to upload like my very first Procreate design and I'm really excited because I just feel like I would be making so much progress and I'd be able to like see what other people in my class are also uploading. Again, link is in my description. First 500 people to use it will get a 30 day free trial of Skillshare. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video.
Good morning guys, it's the next day. Just got up and realized what a mess my crafting room is from all this crafting I've been doing over the past couple days. I really need to clean it all up. That's definitely on the to-do list for today. I need to drop off my USPS packages as well. I think I'll get started with that first just to get some fresh air. And then we're gonna make some scrunchies and pouches today. I'm just like kind of in the mood for that. This first collection of 2024 I decided is going to come out next week and I'm very excited about it. I'm just gonna drop whatever I have. The very first collection of 2024 I decided is gonna come out at the end of February or first week of March and I'm really excited about it but I really need to get the ball rolling so I'm gonna place an order on Makesing and get some things. I decided that I'm kind of obsessed with this and I'm definitely going to get the bigger size of this iridescent uh, vessel and make a bunch of these. It smells so freaking good. And then for the last of the three initial nostalgia collection candles, I'm thinking of doing like a freshly cut grass scent. I do have one from I think it's Candle Signs and it's pretty good but I think I'll mix it with like a few things to make it even better. Although in the back of my mind I'm like that is like so different than the orange cream school and the cereal scents so I might like switch it up and do something a little bit more floral that's like somewhat in the realm of like fruity um i'm not sure <laughs> but that's like one thing that i definitely need to decide but while i decide on that i'm gonna get the bigger aura vessels of that like really pretty vessel i just showed you because i don't want to only offer the minis i want to offer like the bigger sizes as well obviously i have some more satin fabrics that i haven't been really using that much. I think I've used them for pop-ups before, but I definitely haven't put them on my website yet. Today I'm going to cut out that fabric in strips to make scrunchies with eventually. Maybe I'll get started today, maybe I won't, we'll see. Um, but just so that I get the ball rolling on that and like find some motivation in like cutting out the fabric, I'm also going to cut out the pouches because I love looking at all of that fabric from Spoonflower that I showed you earlier. It's just so pretty. <laughs> also today I'm going to sign up for two pop-ups. Um, one I was invited to sign up for and it's the festival that I talked about here in Hoboken. Another one is actually potentially, potentially doing a collab with Madewell here in Hoboken. We'll like wait to hear back about that because there are like some, some things that need to be sorted out, but I'm really excited. If that ends up working out, that would be so freaking cool. Like a pop-up at Madewell, so cool. Today is a glasses, no makeup kind of day. I'm wearing my Word Strings sweatshirt as always, literally, don't really wear anything else at this point. It's gonna be a good day. I made my matcha and it's uh, it's like a really pretty green today. What else do I have to tell you guys? Oh, last night was the Super Bowl and I went to a friend's apartment. We just watched it. I was rooting for the Chiefs for obvious reasons, but half of our group was rooting for the 49ers. The other half was rooting for the Chiefs. So it was like kind of awkward when only half of us were celebrating at the end, but that's fine. Oh, also let me show you a couple things I made like during a Galentine's crafting night that I had. I'm truly in love with these new bear pillar candles that I made and was it in this video or the last video? I think it might have been the last video where I was debating on whether I should paint in the eyes or the nose of this bear and I think the answer is yes I should paint in the eyes and nose. This one got kind of messed up but it's so cute. Like it really looks like a little teddy bear when you paint in the eyes and nose. And then just for Valentine's Day I painted in some hearts. I won't like sell it like this. Um, especially since I'm not a painter and these hearts are questionable, but I think this is really cute and this is just for me to have. And then I also painted this candle. I've seen like a bunch of people paint these pillar candles, so I um, thought this was cute. It just has little flowers on it. Again, I am not a painter. I'm good at different art forms, various art forms. Painting, not one of them. I should probably just take a Skillshare class on it. And then last but not least, I got this mug or this glass cup from a local thrift store and it was so cheap but i do think it's like really pretty and i can use it for just like water just regular drinking purposes i heard you're supposed to bake this after you paint it with acrylic paint is that correct that seems wrong for some reason but if that's what i need to do to set this then sure i'll do it all right let's get into the work day
While I was cleaning, I found these Valentine's Day cards that I thrifted. I think I showed them in the last video. I forgot that I had these. <laughs> so I'm going to really quick write a few Valentine's. There aren't that many in this pack. And before I go to the post office, I'm going to write these, address them, and send them out along with my other packages for my small business. Um, I think it'd be a cute little thing. Valentine's Day is in two days, so hopefully this gets to my friends in time. They're all like kind of local, so it should work out, but if not, they'll get it a day late. It's fine. This is your reminder that sometimes the nicest, most thoughtful thing to do is just to send a little letter. I've actually never done this before. I've been kind of getting into it a little bit, but I think this could be fun. I'll also send one to like my mom, my sisters. Okay, the Valentines are done. I only had enough for my mom, my sisters, and my two best friends. So that's like fine, I think. I would love to do more next year. I didn't realize how much I love writing little notes for people. This was so fun. I'm gonna address the envelopes and then I realize I have some like extra like small hearts, like the really small hearts at the bottom. I can use them as like little bits of confetti in the envelopes. How cute, because I don't have heart stickers right now, <laughs> but this could work out. All right, so I had a chance to cut out some of the pouches. These two I already had cut out, but I think they're very cute. I know this is very Valentine's and I am going to post this. I'm pretty sure today I'm gonna to work on posting some products today, but I think people would still like it even after Valentine's Day, I think. And then we have some bows. I know these are trendy, but honestly, they're just so pretty that I couldn't help myself. So hopefully people will like these. And then we got some more bows, just like a little bit more subtle and like romantic. And the classic flowers with like some greenery i really like this one as well as a pouch so i haven't cut out any linings because i'm not fully sure what i want to do with lining sewing cotton is so much easier than sewing silk and satin because the silk and satin just like goes it, it like slides around everywhere so i just cut these out for now i still have these other ones that need to be cut out but i want to take a quick break because i really wanted to order some stuff in order to get going with my first collection, I really need to get some more vessels. So I have like the normal ones that I usually use, but I've run out of like certain variations, like the eight ounce cream R jars I've run out of, but I've actually pretty much decided that I wanna go with the matte ivory makesy vessels because I think just like the very slight difference makes a difference. <laughs> and I think I like those better than the cream ones. I'm gonna go with that and then I also want to order big ones of the incand iridescent oh my gosh one day I'll figure it out the iridescent like chrome looking vessels I really want to get the bigger ones of that I need to order some more fragrance oil because I've run out of good amount I do want to like get through most of what I have just to get through it I feel like I've had these fragrance oils for a long time and I'm gonna keep reordering them but I've had these specific bottles for a while so I wanted to do, like a day where I just make a ton of inventory as if I'm prepping for a pop-up, but like I don't actually have a pop-up coming up and just do like a like a fake pop-up prep video um, and make 
ton of candles and get through all my fragrance oil because I feel like that'd be very satisfying. So let's actually order some stuff and I'll show you how much it actually costs when I stock up on materials because it's a good amount, honestly. And I also am going to go into my Shopify site and upload those like Valentine's Day themed um, products, but I don't really want to call them Valentine's Day themed because I want them to be up for the whole year but because of like marketing purposes and the fact that valentine's day is in two days i might like just call it that for the next couple days and say like shop pink and red things 20 percent off or something like do some sort of promotion i think that could work and then also oh my gosh i really want to drop um the whole like candle recycling program announcement i want to drop that should i do it today no i think today i'll drop the products and tomorrow i'll drop the recycling program this is so last minute i really need to actually like plan out when i'm dropping products and like create hype for it and oh, there's so much guys the thing is that like after i create something i just want to post it like immediately and put it on my website but i need to realize that like i should make something take pictures of it professional pictures with an actual good camera and good lighting tease pictures of it on Instagram and TikTok and make videos and content about it and then drop the product so that there's hype around it. I know that's the way to go, but I always find myself just like last minute doing things and then like revealing a product all of a sudden. Maybe I'll also put up the cereal scent for pre-order. That'd be, that'd be a good idea. Let's do that. I just spent the last like couple hours basically editing pictures in Lightroom and then also posting the new products onto my site. They look really pretty. I posted on Instagram. I made a little post, like a carousel post about the new products that I dropped. And then I also ate lunch um, and did some other stuff. So it's been a couple hours. Here's generally what I do in Lightroom. I just imported all these pictures from my phone. I took these pictures maybe a couple days ago and I just have like all the different photos down here edited in pretty much the same exact way so that they all look very cohesive. I usually up the exposure a tiny bit and then I just color correct so it looks closer to the color that the products actually are and a little bit more vibrant to make it look more attractive and all that. So this is how it looks. I love this picture of the pouch. Um, I posted this and then also the scrunchies that are over there and then also two of the pillar candles so like this bear and i reactivated the cherub angel candle i also updated the main part of my website so the first thing you see on this home page is now like a little intro to the valentine's day stuff it says shop self love sustainable goodies and then i realized you can put emojis in here so i thought that was cute and i put that and the banner i changed instead of it being like a picture of a pop-up shop that I had up there previously. Change it to this like close-up of the pouch, which I think is a cute little like teaser. And then the button says up to 30% off self-love products and it leads to all the products that are like pink, red, romantic, self-love related. Um, and then I put a lot of it um, on sale just to get people on the site. Like these are all like pink labeled candles, which I thought was cute. Um, so yeah, this is what I've been doing. <laughs> this is definitely going to be a three or four part series as I create this collection and finally like make it hit the website. I just have so many ideas that are jumbled in my head and that's why I can't really get things done as quickly as I would like them to. I'm just trying to like organize things up here and then make it happen in the way that I'm envisioning. Thank you for following along. Thank you for being part of this process. It's a very realistic 
process that I am sharing right now. It's not that pretty and it's kind of chaotic, but that's what we're working with. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in part three of creating this first collection of 2024 and whatever other videos that come out in between this one and that one. I will see you in the next one. Bye.